It's finally here. Templates in Luna. Let's get into it. All right, so we're in Luna now, and we have a, basically the making of a template, for instance, right? Let's say that this is a session that we have, we, we would always want to start with. We have a, a track for our beat, um, a place for our tag if we're a producer, for instance, like this audio file here. Um, and then we have uh, all that going to a bus. Then we have spots for our vocals and they're going to a bus, and then we have like reverb and delay sends, right? Um, let's just say this is our starting point. This isn't a, a perfect setup or nothing. This is just kind of put together real quick. You know, some plugins and some, some saturation. Even our inputs, uh, we can see here that um, our inputs uh, are, are pre-set up for us, for instance, right? So let's say everything is set up. This is how we want to have our template be. So what we do to create a template is we'll go to File, and then Save as Template. And we'll get this pop-up so we can name it. Let's say this is a recording template. We can put some notes in here. We could say um, beat tag um, for uh, recording tracks. Obviously, these are bad notes, but you get the idea. You can put whatever kind of notes you want in here to remind you. And you have the option to save the audio with the template. So that would be beneficial if we have a tag or a few audio files that we always want to use. Um, otherwise, you can leave that out. So let's say for now, we're going to click Save. And so that gives us a notification in the top right. says successfully saved. So now let's close this out. And we're going to go in and create a new project. So let's say new project, and we want to do it from the template. So let's click on our templates. We see I have a recording template here. So we'll choose that one. And we'll see it's also flipped out our tempo to what we had in the template. So this is 140. Um, and then we're just going to basically hit create. Uh, if we say wanted to get rid of this template for any reason, we'd hit the X here and it would go away. So I'm gonna get that back real quick and we're hit create. It also copies the name of the template into the project file unless you rename it. So bam, we've created a project from our template and everything was in the state in which we left it, including our audio file. Um, one more thing to mention, let's say we wanted to overwrite this one, we could go file, save as template, select the existing one, and then we'll have the button changes to replace. Um, and we also have options to rename and delete from here. All right, so where do we find the actual template files in our computer? So if we look in our finder here, we have under iCloud, we have documents. Uh, your documents may be somewhere else in your, your uh, sidebar menu or whatnot, but basically your documents within your iCloud drive. You go into there and at the bottom we see Universal Audio. So we double click that. Then we go into Presets. And in here we will see that we have session and session is where these template files are stored and we can see that the actual file sizes are quite reasonable one megabyte 2.6 and the 2.6 on my recording template actually includes an audio file so something to keep in mind is if you're going to store audio files um, you know be thoughtful about how big these files are because it'll make it harder to transfer these files around at this size though i could easily just zip it and throw it into an email no problem Hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, leave me a comment and let me know. And also let me know if there's anything else you would like me to cover. Uh, if there's any kind of specific template you would like me to demonstrate. Um, otherwise, have yourself a good day.